am Holly Thomas. Um, I work at Mercy as the clinical informatics coordinator. I am a registered nurse. I um, have been at Mercy for several years, um, close to 25. About three years ago, my mother, who was 92, was um, starting to deteriorate physically and mentally. And as a nurse, you kind of know what's happening and what's going on, but it's not something I could do myself. And I had to figure out how can we manage this and be able to best care for my mom. So did talk to um, my siblings and we decided that it was probably time to bring hospice in. My mom at the moment did not exactly know, she couldn't comprehend what was happening. Every time one of the hospice staff came to visit, she would talk about, your friend was here today. The nurses came in, they were absolutely fabulous. They, talking to my mother about horses. My mom had um, been a horsewoman most of her young years. She was a trick rider um, and a barrel racer. And they would talk about horses and my mom would just light up to be able to tell her stories. And my daughter was helping take care of my mother. She'd come in every day. Um, there were times where she just was not sure what to do. And my daughter would call me and say, I don't know what I need to do for grandma. And she would call the hospice staff. And they were so understanding and so compassionate. And being able to talk my daughter off a ledge and saying, no, you're doing the right thing. You're taking care of her. And this is what she needs right now. Probably the best memory I have of hospice is my mother loved the old church hymns, the old, old rugged cross and some of those very traditional hymns. And about a week before she passed, she really wasn't responding much, but we would just talk and laugh and tell stories. There was a day that Sabin came in. Sabin's one of the pastoral um, chaplains from hospice, and he brought his guitar. And Sabin said, could I sing some songs? We all said, absolutely. Mom loved her music. She loved every kind of music, but she loved her hymns. And Sabin started singing a hymn. And my mom, although she wasn't talking, she wasn't opening her eyes, you could see her mouth trying to sing the song with him. And knowing that comfort, that somebody coming in and just being able to make her feel exactly what she needed to be at peace and reassure my daughter was what hospice really meant to our family. And everyone that we came in contact with from the person who answered the phone to the person who came after my mom passed was so caring, so compassionate, so absolutely invested in making sure that everybody was taken care of, not just the patient, but the family. Um, not just then, the follow-up calls, the messages, the notes, the checking in, making sure that we were okay days, weeks, a year later. That made a difference to everyone and really left our family feeling good that we had given her the send off that she deserved. And we wanted to make sure that that had happened. And I don't think it would have been possible without Mercy Hospice.